It's a cold winter's night in Bradford. And Stephen and Nico are trying to order some spice. Hey, I'm up at you know, in NGP Care Pack. Up so, the, uh, ambassador. Sun pub. I can't blow a car. Sun pub. Sun pub. Yeah. All right, bro. How long? Ten minutes. Nice. <laughs> After half an hour of waiting, they finally hear back from the dealer. The GA's there. You work down this car and just go get bully with you up With a fresh bag of spice in hand, Stephen and Nico tag along with a friend to head back to his accommodation. Somebody has to hold the angle down, look at the bottom. Hit the bottom. Right, for fuck's sake. They've only just sat on the sofa and let me run on score. Yeah. Fucking all fucking like safe. Bob on the fucking 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 on the I've had 18 fucking 20 oh, stitches in the back of my leg, mate. You go. Not more than oh. three weeks ago. Yeah, like, operation. I can't keep fucking like that, bro. I'm not fucking fair. What are you doing with your paper? You bought a body in the pocket. I'm aiming. I don't know if you do that. Is it going? Me. Lock myself out of my own house. No, get it up. Cook till ten o'clock. Right, give it a boot. Right, wake up. Oh, 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 oh. Failing to gain entry to the flat and becoming increasingly withdrawn, Stephen and Nico decide to leave their friend and head back to their tent. You get these given, yeah. Yeah. Being homeless on the street, right, and we get these given, yeah, to come back to a tenant. What do you do, yeah, with... Nothing, up here. Come on, what can we do with that? Seriously. Oh. The biggest biscuit they give you here is yeah. some milk, yeah? Yeah. And some weird eggs. How am I going to eat them? Oh. The noodles as well, what would you just yeah, eat them dry as well? Uh, or oh, can put some jam on the noodles and just scrum them like that. Yeah. Or put them on <laughs> wheat mix and yeah. put some milk over yeah. them and just eat them out of ah, dog bowl in the street. Yeah, I'm fucking in my house, I don't buy my trainer. That's yeah. ridiculous. Bad, isn't it? So, so what are you going to do with all this, mate? Uh, Watch it. Watch it. All those homeless people, yeah, we've got all, but we've got plenty to give, yeah. yeah. And there's all them that have got plenty to give, yeah, but don't give mm -hmm. all. There's about two, three hundred oh, big, massive buildings that are all abandoned. I were living in one on Hamstras called Appleton Point, yeah. I just yeah. got in there, it was bad, I, I loved it. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't taking drugs, I loved my life at the point, it was badass, man, I was killing it, yeah. And then one, one day they come to my room and said, Listen, you've got to move out in half an hour. And they moved me to Campbell House on Paradise oh, well, Street. I thought, Campbell House on Paradise Street doesn't sound that bad. I got there, it was the worst ice well, well, it? I've seen in my life. So I was put in the middle of all drug dealers, drug takers, prostitutes, uh, everything. Yeah, and I'd yeah. come from a pretty good. My mum would, mm. she, she tried her hardest because, man, I, I was good. Yeah, and I've still got into this mad circle, yeah. And I'm not from this life, me. Yeah, I only started taking smack and crack last year, me. Yeah, yeah. I went tw for, I went 29 years without anything, and then my nana and granddad have died within a year. Well, within months of each other. That's my Would you say there's like a big drug problem here? Yeah, heavy. I have heavy. What's like the main thing? Spice. Spice. Spice, yeah, heavy. heavy. So, so like how easy is it to get that? Easy. 
I can whistle now, I'm guessing. Uh, you can whistle? Yeah, and not whistle, but I can shout, yo, get me some spice and give me a sec. In okay. a second. And, uh, like, Did you walk down that road there to the benches and he's there? Okay. <laughs> um, and what's your personal experience with that? Uh, I yeah, yeah. I've got a couple of swallows in it and it knocks a shit out of you, yeah, so it's, it's, it's alright in a way, but it's too strong sometimes, you yeah, know, really strong. It's an epidemic now, it's took over the world, man, it's badly spice. Um, um, what drew you to, to try in that? The uh, sleeping thing, just to get me by. So you just went to sleep so yeah. you started? switches me off, it's the only thing that switches me off, yeah, yeah. literally. And, and does anything else have the same effect, like? No, no. no. You're right away. <laughs> the situation in Bradford hasn't always been this bleak. The city once housed the largest industrial production in the country. Salt's Mill, a textiles mill that produced and exported cloth for countries around the world, was so successful the owner built 850 houses for employees. Over the years, most, if not all, of the industry has moved abroad or shut down due to safety concerns, leaving a lot of families without income. What effect has that had on young people? What's it like to live in Keighley? Like, proper bad, it's rare shit. It's like, just full of bad stuff, like people who do drugs and stuff, and like, not very great. Sit down, stabbing all over, bare police around. People getting rammed. Pe people getting what? Rammed. Rammed? Yeah. And what does that mean? You get crashed into your mitt. What's like the worst thing you've seen happen around here? Uh, <laughs> a man taking a shit in the alleyway. <laughs> How did you react? Uh, just ran away. You ran away? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, if you could improve Keith Lee in one way, what would you do? Get rid of all the junkies. Where would you put them? In the junk <laughs> In the junkie home. Okay. Or in the bin. <laughs> What's like the worst thing you've seen happen, man? Stopping puppies, isn't it? And you guys personally seen that? Yeah. And how, how do you react in those situations? For lads like these, Bradford can be quite an unsafe place. They proceed to show me what they carry to defend themselves. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. And what, what, what do you use that for, boss? From these encounters, you can start to see the long lasting effects of industry leaving the country. So I just got on the, the local bus. And I'm going to the, the most dangerous estate in uh, Bradford. It's called Homewood. And uh, I've read some news articles this morning saying uh, like it's a no-go area for the police. The police don't even want to go there. Uh, the youths are basically uh, in control of the area. Okay, to ask you guys a few good questions. Yeah. Yeah. So, what is it like to live in Homewood? Outside for life. Gangster. <laughs> Gang stuff, yeah. So, would you say it's like a dangerous area? No. 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 And what's like the worst thing that you've seen happen here? Probably a So, uh, would you say like that, that like you guys are, are in control of this area? Yeah. Outside for life. Out, outside for life, yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, man. I'll jump, jump on the back. Of... That's as far as it goes, bro. No. What do you mean? Oh, I'll, 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 I'll like lift yeah, it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. All right. Sit up, man. Fucking hell, lad. I wasn't expecting this experience, bro. You came at the right time, man. Uh, how much does a thing like this cost then, bro? Five and a half grand. Five and a half grand, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, how did you save up for that, boss? L side stands for lower side, the rival gang being top side. He told me over the years there have been multiple stabbings in Homewood between the gangs over stolen bikes and who controls the area. It's not a bad area. No. So like, uh, have you ever seen anything bad happen here? Like what's the worst thing you've seen happen here? No. You've never seen anything bad happen? No. So, like the media said, you know, that, that gangs own this area and they run a riot and stuff yeah, like that. Have. 
They don't. They don't, no. Okay, and we've also I mean, been... all people around here are respected by Hogan's. All the people? Yeah. Um, and we also heard that the, the police are scared to come down here and the, the bus service. That's a load of shit. It's a load of shit. Yeah. Okay, so why do you think like this, the stigma is about about Homewood? Why do you think it gets a bad rap in the media? It's like Ravenscliff. Ravenscliff gets a bad bad rap and Thorpe Edge does. It's because it's Bradford. Right? All idiots are down London. Yeah. They don't come up here. They can't, they can't stand talking to you like I'm talking here. Yeah. Right? They're scared. I mean, you're walking around here with that on your hand. Yeah. Right? There's no one around, but if they saw you, they'd talk to you. Yeah. It's like lasses in there. And this couple down here. Okay. Bradford's a great place to live. Yeah. Because you get respected. Okay. okay. So so if you could tell the media one thing, what would you say to them? I said they're a load of wallies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, boss. Have a good day. So much corruption in the city today. There's so many people who've gone astray. Some of us live and some of us die. Some of us wake up and wonder why. In the ghetto blues, bullets are used. In the ghetto blues, yeah, we get confused. Some take acid, some take crack cocaine. Some take heroin to rot their brain. Don't let our children go insane. Just look at the sky, the sky is above. Meditate to the spirit of love. It's a blessing from above. The white devil in your school. You're getting too fast now. Slow down. Slow it up, they had that crap from last night from the Columbians. So the Columbians are Colombian and so is the Russian and the Mafia. So you got in secret intelligence. Don't worry, I'm not a legal alien. But we're all human beings in a day. We're all, we're all children. Yeah. So, don't, so anybody's intelligence, not anybody in general. So who's vulnerable and who's feeble before I exploit anyone, before you exploit it. And hunt the hunter before you become hunted. And that's the politicians and the media are wipe around the world. You've got, you got a wire? No. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, but this is real life, isn't it? Yeah. I see a lot of people die, I see a lot of people live. I mean, I'm not, not a hero, I'm still living on the streets. I love the streets, even though I can go in the building, but I can't live in the building because I still feel institutionalised. That's where I'd be out of the street. Like all cities, there's two sides to Bradford. The side that you see. Bradford is the city of joy and it is home away from home and the sides that you don't. Do you know why people was like leaving the street like this? Because it's the fucking dirty bastards that were Polish mate that going through bins and getting out and it filled the scruffy bastards. But unlike other cities, the sides are closely intertwined and poverty, drugs and violence are just a normal part of the city's life. If you'd like to see the uncensored version of this video or support what I'm doing, then there's a Patreon link in the description below. Thank you.